We have two proofs that I want to uh, talk about today. First one is the theorem that if a trapezoid is an isosceles, i.e., in other words, that both sides are equal, then each pair of the base angles are congruent. The base angles, in this case, would be A and D. So we have the given. We have the isosceles trapezoid ABCD, and AD being parallel to BC, which is normal of a trapezoid. In this case, being isosceles, the A, the a, a B, and uh, CD being congruent or equal. Okay. Now we're going to prove that the base angles A and D and C at B and C are congruent. First thing I have to do. What I'm going to try to do is you, the strategy is to create a parallelogram and then being able to use an isosceles triangle and then be able to prove then that our base angles are going to be equal. So what we have first is that we draw a segment through a line parallel to AB through C, which will become CE. And it'll be the same length there, as you can see. First thing, we restate the given of the isosceles trapezoid ABC and the ABCD and the two and the bases parallel and the opposite sides being equal. And I've talked about drawing the segment and therefore with that of course the these two lines are parallel. The base the bases are, are parallel. Now this becomes because of that it becomes a parallelogram. So A B C D E is a parallelogram based on these uh, previous steps. And we know that AB is now equal to CE because it's a parallelogram. So the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. We also know that angle A, angle A here, and angle 1 are congruent because they're corresponding angles of parallel lines cut by a transversal, in this case AD. We know then that, that the uh, CE... CE is congruent to CD, as you can see right here, because that's a substitution. As you notice up here, I have AB equals to CD, and then if this C, uh, in this case, all we're doing is, is swapping right here, you can see it, so therefore CE and CD are, and that's, uh, are congruent, and that's transitive. Now we have ECD has been a isosceles triangle, and that's because of the definition, because we've already established that the base angles are congruent and also the, the, the sides, or excuse me, that the sides are, are congruent. Next, we know that one, uh, excuse me, one and angle one and angle D are congruent because their opposite angles, or the base angles of an isosceles triangle are congruent, and that we know that angle A is congruent to angle D now because of the transitive because you notice that one, these two are done and then therefore this and this are going to be congruent. All right, And we had back here about angle A and 1 being together and now it's these are two so therefore this and this are congruent. And we know that AB plus uh, each other is going to be a, is, uh, sub sub supplementary because we have parallel lines and we know that CD is supplementary because we again we have parallel lines cut by a transversal and so that the consecutive interior angles of, of, of parallel lines are supplementary and from that we can subtract out because we already have these being equal as we've uh, proven up here before okay so therefore that the B and C are congruent because they have been subtracted out and therefore we have uh, proven that both these are, are congruent and these are congruent. Okay, let's shift over to the next which is the converse of what we have just proven. So the converse means it's just the opposite. So in this case we have a trapezoid it has one pair of congruent base angles then it is an isosceles trapezoid. So that's what we're trying to prove, that it's an isosceles, isosceles trapezoid. In order to do that, we must prove that AB is, is congruent to CD. And in the case, this case right here, I'm going to again draw a line through C parallel to AB 
which will be CE, which is parallel to that, as you can see. Restate the uh, R given. And next, we've already, as I mentioned right here before, that CE is parallel to, to AB, and therefore this becomes a parallelogram. A, B, C, D, E is parallelogram because it's just the best definition. We know that angle A is congruent to angle 1, again, like in our previous proof, because of the corresponding angles of parallel lines are congruent. We also know that angle 1 and angle D are congruent because we go back and look at the transit feature that we have. If A equals 1 and B A equals D, then 1 has got to equal to D. That's a transitive property. We then thought from there we know that CE is congruent to, C to CD because it's an isosceles triangle. The base angles are, are uh, congruent, as we mentioned, and therefore these sides are here are congruent. And from there we know that AB is equal to CE because it's a parallelogram. Opposite sides are congruent. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. And by the transitive property, we can go ahead and say that AB is congruent to CD because we've known before that CE was congruent to CD and that these two are congruent and therefore AB and CD are congruent. And so therefore we have proven both the, the a regular one and the converse of the trapezoid with one pair of uh, base angles than the opposite then it is an isosceles trapezoid. Thank you.